also Attorney Sussman for being here. On the behalf of Angela and Danny and Kyle and Amber, we thank you for your support. And as Danny says, we just want the absolute truth. We just want the absolute truth.
at which the Henrys cannot be present, and about which they will know little. Dan Henry has often said that this is not a system designed for grieving parents. He is so right. Ours is also not a system intended to provide a public accounting for what happened and why. Instead, instead, it is a system controlled by those with an overriding institutional interest in deduction, not induction. I'm starting, as did the police chief hours after the shooting, with a story before any real explanation or any investigation had been formulated or conducted, with a version of events pejorative to the victim and moving forward from there. The danger in this is that the author of the premature account becomes its captive. The subsequent accounts are accepted as valid only when consistent with it. But the issue here, ladies and gentlemen, friends and brothers and sisters, presents not merely as an epistemological puzzle. The facts here highlight the institutional conflict which over and over again erect a very high obstacle to finding the truth. It is no great insight to observe that the county district attorney's offices all around America have cozy relationships as they must with local police agencies and their members. Every day, they work together to solve and prosecute crimes. The DA's office must depend on the perceived credibility of police officers from the departments within their jurisdictions. Any attack on the credibility of the police officers, the conduct of the police officers, may be misconstrued, both by the public and by political interests like police associations or unions as an attack on all police officers. And when that attack comes in a highly publicized case, the danger to law enforcement interests intensifies. In a highly publicized case, the indictment of police officers necessarily brings into sharp conflict the district attorney's office with those political interests, those institutional interests, and makes it more difficult for her office to function. This dynamic is not about personalities. It is about institutional conflicts which are inherent. When an inmate in our state dies in the custody of a lockup, whether that lockup is local, county, or state, an independent New York State Commission on Corrections investigates the death and issues a report. We do not leave it to those who have housed the inmate or detainee. Why? Very simple. We recognize the institutional bias that would make suspect the results of any such investigation. That's right. That's right. This recognition is not meant